we're talking fear the walking dead honestly is there anything to fear from the walking dead i was watching this episode of grotesque and i'm just like okay this is a nick centrated episode and i'm just watching it and i'm just like the dead is not really to be feared and the only reason why people get eaten because the people are idiots That's what I got from the way from the episode. But I will say that this episode, the good things about this episode was that Nick is a survivor. I did like the fact that Nick was surviving throughout all the elements, even though he's an idiot. I'll tell you why he's an idiot in a moment. But I did like the survival aspect of it because that's what The Walking Dead is all about, is surviving, uh, trying to survive from The Walking Dead and other, but not only from the dead. You have to worry about humans. You have to worry about, I like the dog scene. I really love the dog scene, actually. I loved how the two uh, canines just went after Nick because they were hungry. And then going after the zombies. I thought that was really, I thought that was done great. Nick, hands down, this is a spoiler, just to let you know. Spoiler for everything else. I already went into it pretty deep, but I'll give you a Nick is an idiot. <laughs> how does Nick get his shit taken from a crazy Mexican woman with a bat? How? Nick was like, no, no, it's okay, I'm just getting, let me get my water, let me go on, she wants your water, Nick, she wants your water, God, uh, the flashback, the flashback scenes when we taking it back from his girlfriend, uh, I thought that worked pretty well, but I felt like they used it in the beginning, and then for a while you didn't see it, and then they brought it back, the flashback, they brought back the flashback, and then for a while you didn't see it, and brought back the flashback, I was like, okay, I, I thought it was used well, well enough i thought the whole scene where they find out he finds out his dad is dead i thought that was really well done i thought uh, the actor who plays nick did a great job with that nick is a character where i liked in the beginning but then disliked him because of his drug use and how it was affecting everybody else now nick is the type of person character where i'm neutral about like it would i would think it'd be kind of interesting to see him show up in the walking dead series if anybody's going to survive out of this whole group i think it would be nick but nick makes it harder for himself than it has to be uh i thought the one scene that was really 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 dumb was when those two uh mexican dudes spot tr- almost killed nick in the beginning when nick was in the highway and you know he had a little bit of water and he saw that radio and stuff uh but not only that the second time they met up and nick's in with the zombie horde and like they're going towards these mexican guys and you know the guys are just popping off i mean that scene was just dumb, dumb all around they just like stop and they just shoot zombies and they're gonna get out of here so they're popping off zombies and of course the one guy recognized nick and he realized oh that motherfucker's, i'm about to kill that guy and then he's fumbling his bullets he already has like two bullets in his chamber but instead of using those two bullets he's trying to fill up the whole chamber and then he gets eaten and his other comrade gets eaten like that scene was just executed poorly like there is no that guy could have just grabbed his bullets took some steps back and just reloaded them because that zombie horde was not going to him very fast it was very very slow so he finally gets to his destination uh we do get introduced to different other characters i think it's gonna be one of the characters is a mexican chick who is kind of she has some blood on her face i I think they do the same thing that nick does to like kind of hide themselves from the zombies uh, the walkers and she, I have a, I think I saw the clip in the trailer where she, I think she's gonna be a love interest of Nick because I think I, I saw them those two kissing. So uh, Nick gets, I mean, he's badly injured. I mean, when the dogs bit him, he's his legs all jacked up. I thought the cactus scene too in this episode was actually pretty, pretty fun. I was, it was kind of like, where's the water? You know, I thought that was kind of, I like that scene for some reason. So he, he, he ends up with a bunch of a community so to speak he ends up with the community uh, he gets healed up and it it is exactly like you see in the walking dead a community where everybody's together and everybody has like i felt it was kind of funny i this was on sunday and i went to the swap me on sunday and it felt like to me watching this was like this is the fucking swap me or the walking dead uh but overall like i did in the beginning, I kind of was hating the episode because the fact of how stu- the stupidity in here and some of the things that just it was like, okay, are we just sticking with Nick? Really, can't we see what everybody else is doing? Even though Nick is probably the interesting character in this whole show, uh, so I was a little bummed out by that, and I didn't really wasn't feeling really the episode, especially when Nick got robbed. But as the 
episode went along and the survival aspects came in and of course the dogs coming to attack him i thought that was really done well uh, of course there's a lot of stupid things after that but overall i think this episode was okay i don't think it was the most fantastic episode i thought the survival aspects is what really made the episode go i really but throughout the whole thing i just feel like this show is it could be better i always think it could be better and it's just not better and that's the sad thing about watching fear the walking dead is you know the potential it has but it never meets that potential and i don't think it ever is going to meet it they're introducing new characters maybe that could bring some life pun intended to the show but i really don't think fear the walking dead is ever going to be more than just you know, mediocre. Thank you guys for listening. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. Like the video if you like it. Comment below. Um, that should have been on my comment section. <laughs> Until next time, we're going to talk more. Fear the walking dead. I'm Dan McAdams' son. And all your shit, half that shit, belongs to Negan now. <laughs>